Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Rohit. Today we will talk about that uh, case creation configuration on HRSD module. So this is the fifth session we are talking about the HRSD case creation configuration. If you have not watched my previous video, I would say that go and watch my previous video. So this is the case creation page, how we can configure the case creation. So last few days we are creating the case, but today we will talk about the without coding, how we can configure our case. So without wasting time, let's get started. Very first thing is that let's flip to the service now instance. So this is my service now instance and here this is the case creation page and where actually the um, HR agent or HR, um, uh, you know, HR person, they will be create the case on behalf of actual particular user. So they are going to search that and then these are the, you know, information will be available. We can configure this, uh, con we can configure this completely by our case uh, creation page. So let's go back to the service now uh, left navigation. So in service now left navigation, uh, if you type the case configuration, uh, case creation configuration, you will be able to see one module under HR administrator. You just have to be open. And this is the page which will be open as part of the case creation. Okay. Now here is the things. Uh, we have a very first thing is the page size and then minimum input length. What is the page size and what is the minimum input length? So whenever you are uh, searching that here, you have to have put minimum three characters to search this case. So that is defined here. Uh, the minimum input length. Next is the page size. Page size is nothing but Whenever you are searching any of this uh, user or any of this case, HRC, something like that. So how many record will be visible at the first uh, input? That is the page uh, size. So you can, it can be like a one page, it will be show 10 record. After that, it can be keep on increasing. Okay. So let's do that. We'll change the page size equal to five and then minimum input equal to two and then save that and see, understand that how it will be work. So after saving that, let's refresh this page. Once you refresh that, here uh, you can start uh, searching that, uh, you know, um, um, uh, type is start searching that user. And if you see right now, page size is five and total record is showing here 16. And we just input two uh, character and it is start searching. And each, so this is the, this, see one, it is loading, keep on loading. So one page have five record and then you can, you can keep on searching that so it will uh, for better performance or better uh, you know uh, visibility it does uh, service now did the pagination so that it cannot it should not bring the all the record at a single time it can keep on loading and getting the data okay so this is the first thing and once you uh, select that uh, you know one of the user you can see there are two basically sections one is the employee information section and another is the case detail these sections also can be configured. So let's go back to that. If you see here, employee search, case search, employee information, case creation. There are four, actually four, um, you know, um, sections is available. What is the employee search? We'll talk about one by one. So employee search means that, um, so in this employee search means that this is your employee search where you are actually, where you are searching the employee, right? So whenever you are putting some user and then typing that uh, some, user you are searching actually the employee right in this case you can configure very first thing is the display table this will be uh, you know uh, read only you cannot change that so it will be query from the HR profile table or the HR ta um, user table so you cannot change that second is the user field user field also read only you cannot uh, you know um, put that you know you cannot put that any change this will be the read only Next thing is that limit user on the search. So if you check that, there will be one couple of filter and in this filter, it will show some condition. You can put the condition and then based on the condition, those report will be visible. Like you can define that active equal to true, locked out equal to false. Those users should bring that. You can put that basically search criteria here. Okay. So right now it has the 642 uh, record. If you click here, it is going to the CC user table and then this 642 user is there. If you put that, uh, you know, um, active equal to two and then put a filter, 
it will only search that uh, 641 so one user is active for so the 641 user will be searched one i mean those record will be only search okay next is that additional display fields which is showing that user dot department user dot employee number user dot location so this is basically from coming from here so if you see here whenever you are typing that a b and it is showing some information so these things are coming from this this is the department and then it is coming that employee number and the user location so these things are coming from here this is the location and then the user doesn't have employee number that's why it is not showing here okay so this way you can configure uh, any of this field so let's put uh, we can put that uh, country of birth and then add here let's save that and then we'll simply refresh this page so if we search with here uh, and then you will be able to see the country of uh, birth it is showing the united state of america so that way even if you uh, select that user it will show all the user information here so that way you can you know configure multiple um, fields to display so links field we'll talk about later then uh, uh, here you can see the force uh, a partial match on the search term so it means that if you type that able tutor uh, you know uh, or, or if you put that here let's say uh, tutor so once you put the tutor it is also searching right so in that case uh, you know the partial search also uh, happening right so it is allowing to search on the partial characters and the next is that allows keep verification so whenever uh, so as i mean as i mentioned we have a button called skip verification so if you don't if the user is don't exist you can skip that and then even that way you can also create the case so that uh, is the skip creation so if we uncheck and then save that this skip creation skip uh, verification step will that link will not be visible you can see right now that link is not visible and you cannot skip you have to have put the username so that way you can configure these uh, things okay going back to the case search case search also the same things here uh, you can um, you can search the case by this uh, table uh, limit case here you can define that what are the what are the case uh, you want to limit like the employee number and then what are the fields you will visible so let's open this case let's open this case table and search a case and see how it looks like so we'll copy this um one of this case number and here we'll search here and we'll put the search case number and once we put the case number you can see the case um, uh, the partial information is showing because we have uh, configured that these are the fields should be subject person open for open by and watch list these are the fields should be uh, visible so uh, this way you can uh, you know configure that next we have a uh, uh, employee information and then case creation these two tab is available so uh, let's talk about the employee information in this employee information whenever we are typing and selecting that there are a uh, couple of four fields is visible under this employee information these four fields can be configured through here so left side whatever field will be visible you can define here right side whatever field will be visible you can define here so let's select a couple of field called date of birth and we can select that employee type so these are the field will be visible on the extra field will be visible on the left side and the right side we can say that uh, home country so these are the field will be visible on that um, in our employee information page so let's refresh that here we will type that uh, user and then select that you can see that couple of extra fields are visible and then definitely these fields are read only you cannot select that so this field configuration if you want to configure certain changes you can just go and change here so next topic is the case creation next step so in the case creation it means that whenever uh, if you see a task created table it means that whenever the case will be created in which table the case should be go it's defined that hr case it means that whenever that record will be created it should go back to that um, uh, core case table again in the limit service it will be the remain same that if you want to put the filter you want to do that uh, you can do that now we have right now if you see here uh, 
we have a two left side and right side but here we have a three uh, three one is the left right another is the bottom so if you go back to the case creation page uh, uh, you can see that the left right and the bottom there is a three section very first thing is the COE and HR service you cannot remove the COE and HR service these two are mandatory field you cannot remove that apart from that you can add some additional input fields and then you can add some uh, field here and then you can add here also so let's add some fields if we go back here and then in the left side i will put some fields let's say uh, i'll put definitely some input fields here so let's say the description i'll tick the description and then in the right side i'll put some uh, other field so case supported team and then uh, we'll just save that once we save that let's refresh this page and then we'll type that uh, user and you can see the description field is visible here and then case supported team is visible and we can select um, the data basically and here we can select the HR service so we'll select one of the HR service and simply click the create case it will create some case so we'll simply click the create case it will be create one case for us Once the case will be created from the native view, the state will be in draft state. And then, um, so this is the life cycle I'm going to talk about that. What is the life cycle of that uh, HR case? So if you see here, um, this is the HR IT operation because based on that HR services, which table it should go that is defined into that, which table it should go. So it should not go back to, if I talk about here in our earlier days that case uh, COA is divided into the many child table. So, so court case table is divided into the many child table and based on the COE, it will go to that particular table. So we selected that one of the COE, which is part of the HR, HR service we selected, which is part of the HRIT operation. So the record is created under HRIT operation case. And then if you see here, that state is in draft state. The next life cycle is that whoever is going to work that. So we, uh, uh, once you take the ready to work, it will be assigned to a particular person. So let's first open these groups here. I'll open this group here. And you can see this group have a six member and this group have a six member and then the skill of this group is the HR, okay? But here in this HR IT, the skill is the HR system, okay? So skills, sections have a HR system and then HR this group have a skill called HR and this group have a six member how this uh, you know how this ticket will be assigned to a particular person we'll talk about that also so once we click the ready to work this assigned uh, assigned to will be selected a particular user which is the stipend uh, this user okay so this ticket is assigned to this user why and how based on the skill if I open uh, these groups and then open this user, this user have a particular skill. Uh, so if I go here, so this user have a skill called HR system. That's why the it is assigned to that user. If I open other user, the other user might not have this uh, skill. So if you see this user ha doesn't have the skill, that's why it does not assign to that particular user. So basically based on the skill, uh, whenever the state will be registered, it will be assigned to particular user. If you are creating the case from the portal, then uh, this uh, will be in the ready state and it will be automatically assigned based on the skill. The next step is that basically the user, whoever is working, they will click the work in progress and then this state will be, uh, it will be moved to the work in progress. And then finally, after the completion of this, the, his work, the full paper instruction based on the checklist, uh, they will move to this to that um, you know awaiting user acceptance and click save once they will uh, uh, go back to the awaiting um, acceptance user can able to accept or reject that uh, you know um, um, this uh, solution okay so the case can be accept and rejected based on that after, um, based on the user once it is accepted the case will be closed and it cannot be never cannot be uh, reopened so basically 
one like incident if it is closed it can be reopened it's not like that once the case is closed it cannot be reopened so basically the flow is that if i go back to the flow here first it will be in the draft state if it is doing from the back end if you are doing from the portal it will be in ready state and then uh, once you move to the ready state based on the skill it will be assigned to that particular group member and then the group member will move to the work in progress and then it will be moved to after that after completion of this task it will be moved to the awaiting acceptance and then finally your user will be closed uh, accept that or reject that based on that it will be closed complete okay so that's it for today we'll talk about we'll in next session we'll talk about further but today we discuss about the case life cycle and how we can configure our case creation page so that's it for today thank you very much till the time like share subscribe and if you have any question let me know in my comment section thank you very much